I was being nosy at the neighbors. What's new? What is new? If you're watching this part of the video, you're probably watching the replay or you're watching on YouTube. So you can go ahead and fast forward a little bit um, to get past all the waiting and hanging out and all that good stuff. Um, I'm gonna hop over here and get this shared and then we'll start. Hey, Crystal, hey, Melissa, hey, Grace. Hi, friends. Y'all, I actually slept last night. I don't know if Jesus heard me complaining and was like, get this girl some sleep but I actually slept or it was the two hours of physical fitness that Grace and I had yesterday. That could have been it too. And honestly, that was probably it. <laughs> so make sure when y'all hop on, you hit that share button. Let me know that you have shared. Um, I need to do something. I've got to figure out everything. I have so much like in my head y'all that I want to do and I like cannot get it all done. <laughs> What am I doing today? I'm going to the lake. I'm going to the lake. So I am, I told you guys, I'm peeling. You can't, you can kind of tell right here. Um, but over here, it's like, actually it looks better than it did yesterday. So I exfoliated so hard, y'all. Literally, I have one of the best exfoliants on the face of the planet from Maddie's Market. It's so good. Um, but I exfoliated my entire body because what happened was, after we played tennis yesterday, um, I was like hot and so all the other burnt skin on my body turned into little like water blisters. Y'all, I was covered in them. It was like so terrifying yet satisfying, you know what I mean? Um, so I exfoliated all that off and then today I'm like, it's kind of, it's like partly cloudy but you can still get some sun. So I'm going um, to the park at the lake and I'm going to work, take my laptop, work um and get whatever sun I can get hey Lindsay hey Dakota nobody all my well Grace doesn't work right now so she could go with me um but I haven't told her I'm going yet so she probably knows now that I'm live but um Michaela and Brandy work full-time jobs so they cannot come with me that's one thing I love about my job y'all I love what I do because I can literally work from anywhere I can do anything. It's fantastic. It's fantastic. Also, you guys, come on. When I say I work, you know how I work. It's like I'm, I answer messages and emails. It's not like, you know, I like crank out a ton of work. Um, come on. I'm literally, as soon as I get off here, I'm going. Same place we were yesterday. Um, so, I forgot what I was saying. I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I will tell y'all this. The spray foundation applied with the beauty sponge is a game changer, people, okay? I'm gonna tell you something. It is a royal game changer, and I am completely obsessed with it, so we're doing it again today. Um, I love it so much. I love it so, so, so much. Sounds good. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Emily. Um, so, y'all, Emily, if y'all, she hasn't posted it yet, but she did a tutorial on the rose gold um, tinted hair spray stuff. Um, y'all need to go follow her on Instagram if you haven't. Um, I'm still scared to do this. So as soon as I saw that she did it last night, I was like, please send me pictures. And hers looks so good. So, um, so yeah, I'm obsessed with the spray foundation applied with the sponge. You guys, it literally lasted all day. So good. Completely obsessed with it. Completely obsessed with it. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Gina. Uh, make sure y'all share when y'all hop on. Hit the little share button. I think it's down there. It might be down there. I think it's down there. Um, you're obsessed with it, aren't you? I knew you would be. Mm. There's sun. So y'all know on a good day. Oh, also a ton of y'all saw my stories yesterday and obsessed over my lashes. Obsessed over them. I've gotten tons of messages. So my like to know it has all of my favorite lashes linked with my favorite lash glue. So you guys can grab it from there to make it easy. Um, actually, I might be able to post that link in the comments right now. Also, Pink Lily has dropped their Memorial Day and 4th of July line, and y'all, there is some super cute stuff. Super cute stuff. So make sure you hop over. The exclusive shopping link is in the description of this video. Um, hop over there and stock up on your 4th of July stuff. Um, super, super cute. 
I've actually got some more stuff coming from them. Super excited about it. Super excited about it. One of them I actually bought to wear with bathing suits. Um, so, what is on my face? Something seriously non-existent, but I can feel it. All right, so this is the Mattifying Primer. It's the only primer I use. If I run out of this primer, I will use the regular Touch Glorious Primer, but this Touch Glorious Matte Primer is, is my jam. It is my jam. All right, let me see if I can grab that Like to Know It link for you guys. Um, I gotta find it. Oh, there's my shopping. I was shopping, I was shopping. Um, like to know it. I don't think I can do it online. I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to post it when we're done. But make sure y'all say hey when you hop on. Hit the share button. All the good things. All the good things. Y'all, it's sunny. I'm so excited. It was like overcast earlier, but give me all the sun. All right, so we're going in with a little bit more setting spray. I need my order to appear really quickly because this is almost out. Um, I keep saying I'm going to do that off camera so you don't have to sit here and watch me wait. But, um, all right, liquid or spray foundation, you guys. It just launched again on Monday. Some shades did sell out. Let me actually tell y'all what is sold out and what is not. Um, and if you need to be color matched, we can get you color matched for the foundation. Remember, if you spend $80 on the website right now, you are going to get 15% off of your order. So, if you grab your spray foundation, your concealer, and a brush, you're going to save 15% on your order. Taylor, you're going to be obsessed with it. Make sure, this is my favorite way. I love, I love the brush. And I always told people, use the brush, use the brush. But now that I have done it with the sponge, I am obsessed with this sponge. It's snowing. Girl, I have on a bathing suit. I would lose it if it snowed. It, we had a cold snap um, last weekend and it got down to like 35 at night and I was miserable. Like I complained like a child. Hey, Tanya. Hey, Tanya. Make sure y'all share when y'all hop on. It literally helps so, so much. Paula, I didn't know you lived over there. Or up there. However you say it. I am drinking my protein shake. It is the Arbonne Vanilla Protein, Almond Milk Ice, Digestion Plush, Plush, Plus, Skin Elixir, Honey, Almond Butter, Hemp Seeds, Banana. That's it. I think that is it. Yes, it is going to be so nice. I'm like, uh, well, as soon as I, I mean, I ask Siri what the weather is every day. I literally go to the lake every single day if I can. Um, I just do. It's what I do. So, it's where I'm going. It's where I'm going. All right. Oh, my eye is just son of a gun. Y'all, it looks so much better than it has. It's still a little irritated, but it looks so much better than it has. Hey, Serena. All right. Spray foundations, you guys. I have um, Organza. This is what's still in stock on the website. I ordered a lot to have on hand in shades that are sold out. So I will have them, but let me get them because honestly, I don't remember what I ordered. Um, I've got Organza, Velour, Taffeta, Linen, Khaki, Cashmere, Chalice, or Chalice, however you say that word, um, Chenille, Suede and Georgette. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's going to be, I can't remember what Siri told me, but I was like, bathing suit? I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm here for it. All right, I'm going to spray this directly on the sponge. Um, this did make a little bit of a mess. I will say that's this one thing I don't like about spray foundations is that they do make a little bit of a mess. Um, but honestly, y'all, they're totally worth it. They're totally worth the mess. All right, so I'm pressing this in, and it doesn't really have a smell. Somebody asked me that yesterday. It kind of just smells like foundation. There's no fragrance or anything in this foundation. Hey, Maria. You got your spray, Kenzie? Have you used it yet? I'm telling you. I'm telling you, it's so good. I'm going to say velour, Maria. I'm going to say velour. Um, but send me, uh, send me a recent picture just so I can triple check. I 
love it so much, y'all. Like, I have so, like, I can't, I've got to get rid of the word like. Like and um. I watch my stories back because, you know, I critique myself and I judge myself. And I'm like, girl, you have got to get off the like train. Like, it is just, there I go. <laughs> it's just bad. <laughs> it's bad. Okay. So, this does, like I said, this is a little bit more of a lighter coverage with the sponge. But, honestly, I'm not mad about it. Um, which, you know, hell is frozen over if that's the case. But, it is buildable this way. It is buildable with a brush as well. Um, I, I love, I love this foundation with a brush. I think it's fantastic. Um, oh, you just ordered it last night. I thought you got it in the mail last night. I was like, dang, that was fast. Um... But I literally, like, I love it so much. It's so lightweight. It's easy to blend. And some spray foundations can be a little drying, which sounds crazy. But they can be. And I'm not a huge fan of that. Um, I love this foundation. And I, I was a makeup snob before I was with this company. Um, I worked for a couple brands that are sold in Ulta. And I'm telling you, I love this foundation. I love it so much. All right. Hey, Kristen. I have two Kristens in a row. Spelled differently, but two Kristens. All right. So we are good to go on that. I did have to order another Velour stick foundation. I can't find mine anywhere. Um, so we're going to keep using my off-brand concealer, which I'm ready to have my stick foundation back. I've got eyelid, but it's just too dark for concealer. So, we're going to have to work with what we have. Um, uh -huh. So, one of my friends is actually renting a lake house this weekend. And she texted me and she was like, she texted me last night. And she was like, how close is this to your house? And I was like, 20 to 30 minutes. She was like, well, come over. We're having like a bunch of people over. I was like, I will be there. I'll be there. So, and then I told my mom we were going to go to my aunt's house to go to the pool one day. And then we're supposed to be going to a friend's house on Sunday to go to the pool. Like, I'm going to tell y'all, we had this, the weekend I got fried on the lake was this weather. And y'all better know, I will make it to the sunscreen bag before I make it to the cooler this time. Because last time I made it to the cooler faster than I did the sunscreen. Actually, I never made it to the sunscreen. I, I, I'm so social, y'all. I grab a beer and I go. And then it's game over. So, if I don't put on sunscreen first thing, I, I don't. It's so bad. And I love sunscreen, y'all. I don't want to look old and raggedy and leathery. I want to be, like, as youthful as possible for the rest of my life. Like, I want my husband to look at me when I'm 50 and be like, damn, she looks 40. Like, those are goals, right? I think every girl has that dream. But, um, I take pride in my skincare. And even my body skin. Like, I love skincare. And you wouldn't know it by the way I'm peeling right now. This is the Makeup Revolution. Uh, Conceal and Define. I like it. I do. But I love my stick foundation as concealer, honestly. I do. It's, I get kind of dry under eyes. At least this winter I did, which is why I started using. I get really dry under eyes. Um, in the winter, and so it helped so, so much keep me hydrated, to keep me hydrated, if I can speak correctly. Um, so I've been loving it, but since I can't find it anywhere, I just figured I had an extra one of these. I use these um, when I do bridal and prom, um, and they work fantastic. So I had an extra one in my stock drawer that I had not put in my kit, so I was like, well, I'm not going to go to Ulta to buy more. I'll just use this and wait for my stick foundation to get here. All right, so there is foundation and concealer. We're going in with Behold. Now, Maria, I'm gonna tell you something. You will be obsessed with this powder, like obsessed with it. Um, I've got customers who work for the old brands that I used to work for at Ulta, and they use this powder with all the other makeup. Um, but this powder does come in the $99 beauty box, so um, if you have thought about just grabbing the box for the discount or just because it's a really good deal, um, this does come in it. So, I'm excited they added a face product, like a setting product. 
Because usually the only face product is like a highlighter. But. All right. So this is going to set concealer everywhere. Really? I feel like it's I feel like it's one or the other for for that brand. So either people love the foundation and hate the concealer or they love the concealer and hate the foundation. I actually haven't tried their foundation. Um I stick with what I know. <laughs> I'm such a makeup brat. I'm like, well, this works for my skin and I'm not broken out, so we're going to we're going to leave it here. That's crazy. I used to be a big fan of um, the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. Loved it. Loved it. The Elf Cameo. Um, mm -hmm. Loved it. It's one degree here. No, 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 no. I would, I would die. Other than the last serum and the Mood Shirt Mascara, I've never tried. <gasps> Maria. Girl, get the beauty box. It's 99 bucks, and then if you decide to sell, you're ready to go. Otherwise, you don't have to. Um, but then you get 20% off of all your purchases. So you could grab the $99 beauty box, get like all the fun stuff, and then order your foundation and get 20% off on your foundation. That's what I would do. Other than that, you'd be paying full price on everything, but it's completely up to you. Um, all right, I'm going to go in. Oh, gosh, no. Y'all, I did this the other day. I bronzed my face before I set my face, and I was terrified. I was like, oh, God, I am terrified of what is about to happen. And honestly, it looked really good. It looked really good. We're not going to do that today, though. We're going to do it the right way. Um, we're going in with the, I will tell you, Maria, if you've not tried this pressed powder, you will be obsessed with this pressed powder. Granted, they are reformulating it, so if you fall in love with it, which you're going to, just grab a couple. Um because it's only going to get better, but I'm telling you, this pressed powder, you've not used one like it. There, there are some things that I'll say where our brand is equivalent to, um, but not this. Our, our pressed powder beats everybody's pressed powder. Go into the lake. We're going to the lake. Hey, Megan. Hey, Shelly. Hey, Julie. I think I want the beauty box. Can you? Yes, girl. It's only 99 bucks, y'all, and there is no obligation to sell at all. I am not lying to you. I had 25 girls grab the box last month, and I think only two or three of them decided that they actually wanted to sell. Everybody else gets the discounts, and that's it. Um, my aunt being one of those individuals. So, um, and I can't tell you how many times when she was grabbing the box, she was like, you promise I don't have to sell anything. You promise, you promise, you promise. She's like, I'm not selling anything. I don't want to sell anything. I want to give you all the credit possible. And I was like, listen. You grabbing makeup from your account is going to, I mean, it doesn't benefit me that much, but um, it, it helps my team. And so, like, if you've thought about doing it, just do it. Otherwise, I get your 20% off. When y'all get the 20% back on all your purchases, if you don't grab the beauty box, I get that. Don't let me get your 20% back. I mean, I'll take it. I will gladly take it. But I'm telling you, you'll get 20% back on all of your purchases when you grab that beauty box. So just keep that in mind. How do I get this box you speak of? In the link in my description, if you tap my face, all the links will pop up. The $99 beauty box is right there. Um, you can grab it. And when you click on that link and you scroll down, you can actually see what all comes in the box. The colors do vary just based on stock, honestly. Um, but the actual products don't really vary. Mmm. Rebecca, the spray foundation in the shade Satin. And I applied it with the beauty sponge. I am obsessed with This is the um, Real Technique sponge. Y'all know I love them. I have like a hundred of these, but I found a pink glittery one. So I will say, um, I think the orange ones do work a little bit better, but my vein self just wants to use the pink one. So I'm using the pink one. Um, all right, let's grab, hey Trish, um, the blush in the shade Supple. Y'all, this is my favorite blush. If you do not own this blush, you need it. It is so good for, I wear it all year round, but for summer, y'all, blend it in with your bronzer. Oh my God. It makes your skin look so pretty. The sun's shining. Um, do y'all have kids? If any of y'all have kids, have y'all ever watched Wonder Pets? <laughs> because that just popped into my head. All right, and I don't have kids. I have a nephew, but... I am Trish. How are you, hun? Okay, let's not crush the $495 glasses because I will cry. Plus, I'll be blonde, so that won't be good. All right, we're just going to do a really quick dusting of some 
pressed shadows. Um, usually I do bronzer, but we'll switch it up a little bit today just to make things interesting. Why are people going as slow for, I mean, it looks like a funeral procession out there. There is a funeral place. Not a funeral place. What's it? Something called a graveyard near me. All right. I'm going to take timid. A cemetery might be the proper term for that. Um, timid just to set everything. Yes. So, you know, you know what Wonder Pets is. Exactly. Okay. So I'm going to grab Transcendent, which is this um, kind of peachy color right here. Dauntless is this other one. And Dauntless, I believe they're getting rid of. And Transcendent, they're keeping. Either way, they're keeping one and getting rid of one. But they're super, super familiar. I mean, similar. Do you have a very basic tutorial for those of us unskilled in makeup? Yes, Rebecca. Honestly, my favorite makeup look is super simple. Um, I still do full coverage foundation most days. I, If I wear makeup, I wear base makeup or I don't wear base makeup at all. It's kind of one or the other. Um, but all my eyeshadow looks recently have been pretty easy to follow. Um, but, and this one is gonna be one of those. Graveyards are attached to church, churches, cemetery. Oh, wow, good to know. Who knew? I didn't. All right, we're gonna go in and grab the shade Melodious, which is this one right here. And some of these eyeshadows are going out of stock, you guys. I can't keep up with which ones are and which ones are not. Um, so just hop over to the website. If I ever use one, you know, within the next few weeks that's going out of stock that maybe I forgot about, um, just let me know when y'all get on the website and I'll help you find an alternative. And honestly, that's not me being lazy. That's me. Just it, We have 50-something eyeshadows, and it's extremely hard for me to keep up with the collection and what's consistently going out of stock, and it just makes things a little difficult. So, all right, I'm going to go in with this shade, oh, Gingerly. It's in here. No, it's not. It's right here. It's stupid. Um, Gingerly, which is right here. This is a staple, okay? A staple to have in your collection. Hands down, everybody needs this eyeshadow. It's so freaking pretty. So pretty. And you guys, when y'all grab the beauty box, I actually don't make a dime off of it. I don't make any money when y'all grab the beauty box. So there is nothing in it for me monetarily um, when y'all grab that beauty box at all. So if you're like, I push it because I think everybody freaking needs it. Um, and it's a no brainer. Like you can't go to Ulta and get $448 for the makeup for 98 bucks or $99. You can't do it. And a forever discount after that. You just can't. All right. We're going in with this little baby blender brush with a little bit of gingerly and popping it on the lower lash line. I got a little heavy handed, but here we are. Aren't they? Aren't they? Rebecca, did you get the beauty box? I can't keep up y'all, honestly. So if you ever grab something for me and I'm asking you about it, just roll with it. You know, I'm a blonde. I have a lot on my plate. Just roll with it. All right, I'm gonna grab a little bit of um, that melodious shade right here. Oh yeah, I wanna see it. I wanna see it. Um, I got so many messages about my lashes last night, you guys, and I'm gonna put them on again here, again here in a minute if I can speak correctly. Um, like I said, I will link them on my Like to Know It as soon as I get, well, they're already linked on my Like to Know It if you follow me on Like to Know It. Um, but if you don't, then I will link the link to the like to know it here so you guys can go shop. All right. Pencil liner in the shade black. Oh, it's called perfect, but. And you guys, they are downsizing our eyeliner line. Temp I'm assuming it's temporarily. Um, so right now we have all the shades, but they will be going. So um, if you want them, grab them. They're so good. They don't run on me at all. I love them so much. Hey, Kayla. Hey, Sheila. Um, oh, gosh. So satisfying. I love putting on eyeliner like that. They take off. Okay, so that's a huge thing for me. Um, I, I take off all of my makeup before I use my skincare. Hey, Kayla. Um, if you don't, you're wasting your skincare. You are wasting it. Um, you don't want to cleanse your makeup that's on your face. You want to cleanse your skin. So take off all of your makeup first. Um, I got myself. And then um, cleanse your skin with your cleanser. Hmm. 
your eyes will get used to it. I promise you that. Um, okay. Brow pencil. Y'all know I'm still waiting on mine to come in. This is just a little cheap one from Ulta. It's Ulta's brand. Um, it's the blonde version and it looks green. It looks very green, but it's better than nothing. I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, and I still like theirs, but honestly, nothing, nothing compares to our brow pencil. And I'll tell you this, my grandmother, y'all, is a makeup snob, okay? Like, there's no price tags in her world when it comes to makeup. If it's good and she likes it, she's gonna splurge on it. So she's tried literally every brand in the world when it comes to makeup. And she says that our pressed powder and our brow pencils are like nothing she's ever tried. And I'm telling you, this lady doesn't believe in price tags on makeup, y'all. She doesn't. So, she's tried things that are $5. She's tried things that are $120. It does not phase her. She will do whatever she can to find good makeup. Which is funny because her daughters, um, like my mom, is not like that. She's not a big makeup girl. And even my aunt, um, she'll splurge on stuff for sure, but um, not anything like nanny is what we call her. But me, I am I am her made over. Like all the makeup, all the things. I need all the things. Hey, Jayla. Just be yourself. The biggest tip I can give you guys if you're going to get on Facebook Live is if you're terrified, wouldn't, wouldn't drink a beer. If you're a wine girl, drink wine. If you don't drink either and you just drink liquor, take a shot before you get on Facebook Live. I know that sounds crazy, but y'all, I had to drink beer during my lives. I had to drink wine during my lives to get, like, calm enough to where I actually was acting myself. Now, I'm well, y'all know who I am. Y'all are here for the ride. Um, it's been three years in the making at this point, but, um, like, it's, that was honestly what helped me. I would drink a glass of wine. And y'all know me. Oh my gosh, we would drink wine together. It got to a point where I was like, where are my wine girls at? Everybody had wine when they were watching me live. It was great. Now I'm like, oh, I'm 28. Here's a protein shake. <sighs> people I don't understand is people who drive with their mask on. Like if you feel like you need to wear a mask in public, bad guy, girlfriend, you go wear your mask in public. But those of you who drive with them on, y'all have me confused. <sighs> Three years, girlfriend. Three years in the business. And I was on another direct sales company before this one. Um, and I went live with them a couple times, but not that much. Um, but once, I mean, once you like get, I don't know, it's just, it's girl time. You're hanging out with your girlfriends. You should use, un, you should use unfazed on your brows. Oh, that's a good idea. All right. This is. What is this? Lustrous and pearly mixed together. The two um, highlighters. I love these two. I think Lustrous is sold out, so I had to order um, a different one that I've never had before. But I can't remember what it's called. It's another bronzy one, but anyways. Um, but I did order more, per more pearly, if I can speak correctly. I get so excited when I talk and I'm like, like a disaster. All right, popping this on my brow bone. Yes, exactly. It's, y'all, I would say it's easy, it's terrifying. Let's be real, it's terrifying. There is a video that you are making that is now broadcast to millions of people millions okay but it's fun because there's millions of other people out there doing the same thing you are trust me and people get it honestly like if I see somebody that's nervous on Facebook live I'm I just naturally hop on and encourage them um so if I'm it's funny because I'm always on social media but I try to like distance myself from it at the same time so if I'm ever aimlessly scrolling and I'm not working I'll try to hop on some people's lives um but you, you never know. You never know. But sometimes I get on people's lives and it ruins their lives. They get so nervous. I'm like, it's just me. I'm a disaster too. Okay. Let's set our face. Oh. Setting spray. 
and let that set for a second. We're going to go in with Epic. You guys, the anniversary packaging is still available. I think they should keep it. I think it's so beautiful, but you guys can still grab this super easy um, or super pretty tube. We are going to use the lashes we wore yesterday. They are big. They are extra. They are beautiful. But y'all loved them. Y'all loved them. Um, some of you have grabbed them from the Like to Know It app already, um, which is super exciting. I like when I can see that something I am doing you guys get excited about. I can see you guys clicking on things. So um, super excited about that. We're going to use them. Like I said, I think they're on sale. Usually they're $15 for five pairs. I think right now the A12s are $12.95 for five pairs. So that's like incredible for mink lashes, you guys. Incredible. Like incredible. All right. Let's go in with Epic. No liner. We're just going to keep it super natural. And y'all know, I don't have any natural lashes. They suck, which is why I usually have lash extensions. Um, and if you missed that, well, I had a really bad allergic reaction. So, and my eyes were like swollen shut. This eye is still recuperating. So, we're going to stick with the falsies for now, which is fine. I mean, we're quarantined. I'm not supposed to be going to get my lashes done anyways, but... I do, because one of my friends does them. Hey, Britt. Hey, Colleen. All right. I really need to use my small fancy mirror and not this big old thing. But it sits in front of me every day. So I'm like, well, here we are. Here we are. There is that. Now we're gonna use, like I said, the A12 lashes. We're gonna use clear lash glue and some tweezers. It's like we're getting ready for surgery over here. And the edges of my lips itch, they're so dry. Y'all, when I burnt on the lake the other weekend, so my shoulders burnt, my chest burnt, my shins burnt. It must be new here. Um, My shins burnt. And then my bottom lip burnt. <laughs> and literally, it's been a disaster. It's been a royal disaster. But it's fine. It um, It is what it is. I've got nail glue all over me. So these nails popped off last night on accident when I was taking garbage out. So I had to glue. Usually they're pink, but all I had was the rhinestones. So we're just a little extra than usual. Hey, Brandy. Brandy's BFF. I haven't seen her in a long time. It makes me sad. That's one thing about what I do is I'm not on the same schedule as a lot of my friends because they have regular nine to five jobs. And so I'm like, oh, let's go do this. What day do y'all want to do this? They're like Saturday or Sunday. I'm like, seriously, I have to wait all week. It's something to get used to for sure. Um, for sure. And if y'all missed the foundation part of this video, we did do the spray foundation again, applied with the Beauty Blender. So good, you guys. Literally flawless coverage. So, 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 so pretty. All right, I'm gonna sneeze. This is fantastic. Hey, Nicole. <coughs> okay, um, that's enough, Sydney. That's enough. Oh, and all my friends have kids too, so that makes it really difficult. where I can just drop and go to the beach. They can't. Yay, I believe it was for sponsoring, Taylor. Or was it for sponsoring? I think it was for sponsoring. Once you sponsored one person, you got the bracelet. And I got it, I wasn't supposed to get it because I'm um, not blue status and below. I was elite at the time, but they gave it to me. So I was like, well, I'll take it. So I got it too. <laughs> All right, dust in this glue. I got a lot of questions about the glue. This is the Duo Lash Glue. The packaging is white, but the, uh, the writing is green. This is my favorite one. Unless I have on eyeliner, then I use the black one. Same though, it has a, I'll send you a few of my kids. <laughs> um, 
Oh, like for earning it, Taylor, it'll be in your cart and you'll have to add it to your cart if that makes sense. Hey, Heather. Hey, Jennifer. So yeah, if I have on eyeliner, I'll use the black lash glue. If I don't, then I'll use the clear, clear lash glue. All right. But y'all obsessed over these lashes yesterday. And they are extra. I will tell you that. They are long. But so many people. I mean, I got more messages yesterday than I do on a normal day. And the majority of them were over these lashes. Um, they are long. They are mink. But the band is super friendly um, when it comes to applying things. So, you know, it's not a pain in the butt to work with. Unless you're Sydney and you make things difficult. Super, super pretty. It's still not on. I can feel it. Stick, you fool. So I'm going to get off here. I'm going to pack a little cooler with snacks. And then I'm headed to the lake. Been on a Zoom call. Ugh. Not fun. Hopefully everybody wore pants because for some reason people think you can't see them during quarantine on Zoom calls and people have not been wearing pants. I'm like, I pray for y'all who have Zoom calls because you really never know what you're going to see. You need kids. I'm going to start interviewing men for you. I know. I need kids. I honestly think at this point, my friends know how I treat their kids. And sometimes my friends can't stand it because they're like, seriously, Sydney, like, you're really going to give my kid that? And honestly, some of them are looking for revenge. And some of them just can't wait to see me treat my own kids like I treat their kids. It's going to be fun. But I've always wanted a big family, like three or four kids. Um, I think I told her this other day. But if I ended up with somebody who already has kids, I mean... I would be willing to cut that number down. Maybe. Brandy, we can't do it on your side of town. You got to come on my side of town if we're going to start interviewing people. I can't be with anybody from that side of town. And that sounds horrible, y'all, but if you know where she lived, it'd be really funny. <laughs> hey, Becky. Right, Heather? You have to put them close to do Zoom calls. It sucks. It's not fun. All right, so let's do this lash. Like I said, I'll link these in this video too. Um, I know a couple of y'all grabbed them after I linked them last night. Um, but I will link them again for y'all. All right. Hey, Kayla. I'm good, Christine. How are you, hon? Um, all right, for a lip combo, well... I'm going to the lake. Um, so, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. Probably pouty and vanilla. Yep, I did that to Brandy's kids. <laughs> they were like, can we get in the lake, mom? And she was like, no. And I was like, why not? I was like, get in the lake, you're fine. They're like, with all of our clothes on? I was like, yeah, Brandy's like, no. I'm like, why not? Yeah, Brandy can't wait for me to have kids. She's going to be like, oh, let me take your kids for a day. There's going to be so much karma, trust me. So, Brady's got a 16-year-old, a 6-year-old, and a newborn. And then Michaela, well, I guess Carly's 17 now, maybe. Um, and then Michaela's got Sawyer, who's 8 months old. He'll be 1 in August. But, between me spoiling literally all of their children, I'm really terrified as to what they're going to do to mine. As long as Peyton's old enough to babysit, we're good. Which at this rate, she'll she'll be plenty old enough. But I will have babysitters because I'll be the last one in my friend group to have kids. So, yeah, if I'm with somebody who already has kids, then maybe I could have one and be fine. Maybe. They have to have, like, three kids. Maybe. If they have two kids, I probably want two more. So maybe I do want four kids. 
y'all. And everybody's like, y'all, you'll change your mind once you have them. I'm telling you, I will not. If you know me, you know I don't change my mind on anything. Anything. I'm stuck in my ways. I'm stuck in my ways. And some people, mainly men, get pretty freaking offended about it. I've learned that being on TikTok, y'all. God forbid a girl have her preferences, okay? I made a, a TikTok about, like, guys being 6'1", and having trucks, and or, like, above six foot, having trucks, wanting babies, wanting a family, all this stuff. And then some guy was like, you're really going to have to lower your standards. I'm sorry you're five foot eight. You don't want kids. You drive a beetle bug. Like, that's what I wanted to say. I don't know what he drives. He probably drives, I don't know. I don't know what he drives. But the point to that is, is I'm from the South, y'all. And for some reason, like, I'm also the only girl in my family. So trucks are not anything. It's not like I'm just some girl who's like, oh, I'd love to be with a guy with a truck. No, that's normal in my family. Guys drive trucks. TikTok is just something else. And I go firing back. Y'all know I can't leave things alone. So I'm like, well, listen here, mister. And then I'll let him have it. Which I probably should just learn to stand down. But I don't. Because I'm too freaking sassy. For the world. Oh, no. I'm telling y'all. As soon as I have one, I'm going to probably be like, can I have another? It's going to be me. I'm telling you. That's just the way. That's the way I am. Oh, I want one dog. No, now I kind of want three. Which one was that? It was the video where it was like, I think you know where this is about to go. And I had like my requirements listed. This was a new comment. This popped up like yesterday. And it was like six plus, big truck, um, Nice body, which fun fact, I'm into, I'm into dad bods. Like, I don't I don't need somebody that's, like, jacked and muscular. And I don't know what I've done with my hair. Um, I, I don't, I'm not into that life. I'm into dad bod life. But, like, also not, like, a drunk dad bod life. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, I just, I, I don't know. I'm not into guys that are my age. I'm not into guys that are jerks. I'm not into guys who are all about themselves. Um, yeah. I don't know. I'm just, I'm weird. Southerners don't stand down. Facts, Kayla. Facts. Why not? I know I'm going to the lake. So I hopped on like, I don't know, 30 minutes earlier than usual, maybe an hour earlier than usual. Really? I just get on whenever I get out of bed, if we're being honest. Um, okay. Let's do a lip look really quick. I don't like the way that lash is pinned right there, but it's going to have to do. Um, there's a lip liner right there. We'll use that one. I know. You never know. That's why you always have to be prepared. And fortunately, I'm a very good go with the flow kind of person. Like, very good with it. So, if I get called in an instance and I'm like, well, that's probably my future husband, odds are what he just experienced is probably what he's going to experience the rest of his life. I'm literally just a, somebody asked me to explain myself the other day, and the best thing I could come up with was I'm a little hurricane, I'm a big hurricane in a tiny little box. That's the best way, best way I had to describe myself. You never know what you're going to get. And if you know me personally... You know that is dead on. All right. My dishwasher makes so much noise. That is so annoying. I cannot wait to have my own house where I get to buy all the quiet appliances. Hey, Brenda. There is pouty. I think I'm just going to go on with subtle through it. Let's do it, shall we? I will say, I have been pretty blessed with my hair during this quarantine. I'm ready to have it done, but it's not honestly the worst thing.
This is totally true, Christine. I totally agree with that. I literally told the girls the other day, I'm over like trying to find somebody. Like if I meet people and things just work out, then they're just gonna, you know, if you meet somebody and like, hey, let's hang out, let's do it. But I'm, I'm done trying. I'm done trying. So, and I've met some people. We'll see. You never know. I just, there's so much, y'all. There's so much that goes into it. God knows, dating is freaking terrible. Um, it's literally terrible, but it's fun. It's been entertaining. Hey, Leah. It does. My natural lip color is very dark. Um, successful is almost identical to my natural lip color. Almost, like, I would say it's identical. Um, and pouty is kind of the same way. So that's pouty and subtle. And then I'm going to go in with lunar. I am... Oh, bless. Shaylin, that's so cute. Give me all the babies. Yeah. If I met somebody without kids, he better be prepared to give me a big old family. And if I meet somebody with kids, he just needs to give me at least one. And I would be a happy girl. Happy girl. Um. All right. You guys, we are done. We are hopping off of here. I don't know where I have my hair parted. It's honestly just kind of a disaster, but we're here. So I am going to hop off here. I'm headed to the lake. If you guys have any questions, shoot me a message. I will have my laptop and my phone with me. Um, so I will be more than happy to help you guys out. Other than that, I'll see y'all later. Bye y'all.